Good morning, everyone. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center with an update on what is now post-tropical Cyclone Lee. It's just around 11.20 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time here on Saturday. And we have impacts from Lee occurring across large portions of Maine, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Atlantic Canada, as the center of Lee is now about 105 miles to the south-southeast of Eastport, Maine. You can still see sort of a, some remnants of the inner core of what used to be Hurricane Lee. It still has hurricane force winds of around 75 miles per hour. And we're seeing those strong gusty winds spread on shore into portions of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and especially uh, down East Maine. We've seen wind gusts of about 50 miles per hour in Eastport. Some wind gusts here on Grand Manan Island, about uh, over 90 miles an hour here at some uh, higher elevation areas. But again, the impacts are really going to be concentrated here in the next few hours here in eastern Maine, southwestern Nova Scotia, southern New Brunswick, as the center of Lee is moving toward the north rather quickly now at about over 20 miles per hour. And you can see here on radar imagery the heavy rainfall across portions of eastern Maine, you can still see some remnants of the inner core of Lee here moving again toward the north at over 20 miles per hour. So uh, we're going to see those winds and the, the strongest winds here near the core of the system affecting this area of the coastline here in the next few hours. If we go over here to our other source, we can take a look at the tropical cyclone uh, watches and warnings that are in effect. And uh, again, you can see this very, very large wind field of Lee here in the orange with the tropical storm force winds extending out almost 400 miles away from the center to the east. But we still have tropical storm warnings in effect for the entire coast of Maine, much of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, with hurricane watches in effect for portions of Atlantic Canada as well, where you can see those higher end impacts from wind, tree damage, power. We're already seeing uh, some significant power outages, especially in portions of eastern Maine and in portions of Atlantic Canada. And those impacts are going to increase over the next few hours as what's left of the core of Lee moves on shore in these areas. We have discontinued the tropical storm warning south of the coast of Maine. We're still seeing some tropical storm force wind gusts in places like Cape Cod and Nantucket, but those winds will gradually subside. And then the forecast track of Lee takes the storm, uh, once it moves uh, inland over Atlantic Canada, moves turns northeastward and will be moving quickly out to the northeast across the Canadian Maritimes on Sunday and into the North Atlantic by early Monday. So conditions will gradually start to improve here, uh, especially in, in northern New England overnight tonight and during the day on Sunday. Uh, looking at the inland extent of the tropical storm warnings, again, not just a coastal event, we're seeing some tropical storm force winds gusts in places like Bangor and other portions of inland down east Maine. So again, uh, stay inside, stay out in your safe place here for at least the next few hours, certainly through the rest of the day today and portions of down east Maine as those windy conditions continue. On the rainfall front, expecting one to four inches of rain, especially over portions of eastern Maine. That could cause some scattered to isolated problems with flash flooding, especially in this yellow area, Bangor, Eastport, Bar Harbor, up to Holton and just to the east of Caribou, especially during the rest of the day today. Another reminder, we still have a large wave field that's left over from Lee as it's moved across the Western Atlantic. We have a high risk of rip currents along, again, almost the entire United States East Coast, still continuing across the northern portion of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and portions of the Greater Antilles here. So those, again, dangerous surf and rip current conditions will continue. We're seeing very high waves and uh, coastal erosion and some a minor coastal flooding still continuing in portions of New England. Those, uh, those uh, coastal flooding conditions will improve as we go through the next high tide cycle later today. So that wraps it up for Lee. I do want to talk about our new tropical depression that formed yesterday out here in the eastern Atlantic. Tropical Depression 15 is forecast to move northwestward and strengthen to a hurricane by early next week. Right now, we're expecting it to turn northward uh, well to the east of Bermuda uh, as we go through the early to middle portions of next week, but we'll be keeping an eye on that system as well. So this is going to be the last live stream on tropical, on post-tropical cyclone Lee from here at the National Hurricane Center. Again, impacts will continue for the next few hours, especially along the coast of Maine and in Atlantic Canada, so please be safe. Check in for more information on Lee and on the rest of the tropics at hurricanes.gov and for more local information on Lee from your local National Weather Service forecast office, especially those in Maine, in Portland and Caribou, go to weather.gov. So that's it from the National Hurricane Center. Please stay tuned and stay safe. I'm Mike Brennan.